when I die, don't look surprised because my eyes already did that for me. When they shovel that dirt upon me, don't cry out because my eyes already did that for me. See, you were supposed to cry out before I blacked out. I couldn't claim defeat before I tapped out, but I nap now. Where's my fan, man? Hey, don't look shocked. Hold your claw across your mouth because I'm going to nap. Kid, black, man, nah, you can't be talking about me. I'm a nigga. These words are used to refer to myself and my niggas. What up, nigga? What up, my nigga? Black man, please, I sag pants, do rag bands that match my fitted cap, black. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, that's whack. Now we rocking the snapback shit. Swag, swag. Got my jeans sagging, hanging off my butt, showing off my butt crack, and I dare you to call me fag. Ha, ah, I'm a thug. At least that's what mainstream told me. At least that's what my boy showed me. See, the main thing is that you ain't been showing me. See, the plain things you ain't share shows you scared. Look, you're deflating me by not contributing your mental wisdom weight on me so that your words can weigh heavily. You're afraid of me. Afraid of what my mama might say to you if you try to correct me. But see, the bullets are gonna pierce louder than your words when it was your words that were supposed to protect me. But I get it. I'm not yours. You got your own to worry about, right? Yeah, until that day I murdered yours, and that was me you worried about, right? Wrong? A conflict for a future convict. But see, two strikes stick, because what you don't do to my behind quick, that cop's going to do it for you with his nightstick. And don't pump your fist at that time either. That fish should have been pumping in my eye. Teacher, it takes a village to hit home like community sitters. Lyrical collateral damage, the truth is bitter. Yes, these words I speak are not sweet. This verbal damage knocks through teeth like cavities. Have you thinking you shopping for more than Skittles and iced tea? See, all I needed is for your words to keep me out the middle of a hospital bed or an IV or six feet deep in a corral reef. So behind sales within the bars reach out. Need to see your morale peak. You got a mouthpiece, use it. Like heavyweight parents, grandparents, uncles, and aunties, see, you could save a child for just a word a day. Just dial 1-800, pull your damn pants up. Look them dead in the eye, say, if I hear you use words like that again, I'ma pull your damn pants down and then go tell your mama. What are you afraid of? So busy adjusting your hoodies, but really, what are you made of? See, racial profiling goes deeper than white cameras, black makeup. Let's give them something to really snap at. College grads, responsible dads, how about speech with proper grammar? Like, how can you walk in that job interview with that grammar? Dude, ain't nobody gonna hire you with that grammar. But grandma, this how we talk, this our grandma. They would say, boy, don't talk back for I grind you down to a grandma. Grand of sadness, they would tear through your pants till you can't stand up. Maybe that's just the way I was brought up. It took a village then. But you can't wait for them to bring the guns and murder to your block. You can't wait for them to bring the drugs to your block. You can't wait for them to cop the hats, throw up the sets, rob you blind. Because if you look and react beforehand, your force has the less damage. It takes a village to take responsibility for all you. You can't send a little girl out with jeans so tight. They choke and they expect her not to come home with little red marks around her neck. Now you can't send that baby out all caked up with makeup. Expect her not to come home baked up. Yo, wake up. You can't change your nature, but you can change your behavior. So if it's attention-seeking behavior, get in the race and chase her. Love. Love her hard. Give her God and take her back. Take him back. But it's going to take her. Village.